Hungary Adventure. Episode Hunting for Red Stag. The hunt is on. On this damp, foggy September morning, we are heading out on our first stalk for the Hungarian Red Stag. Visibility is still very poor, but it's only a matter of time before the fog lifts, as it does every morning. Josef, the professional hunter, was able to verify the presence of a large stag on this rutting ground several times. However, it has not yet entered the stage. Unfortunately, over the last few days, the herd has always been on the wrong side of the reed belt. We are looking forward to seeing what is in store for us this time. As we spot our quarry and its herd on the far side of the reed belt, we can only hope that the group will switch to our side now. Will our record-breaking hunter have the chance to take a shot at this old warrior? The tension is almost unbearable. In order to protect the target optics as best as possible, Amon Amon only removes the protective cap at the last possible moment before the shot. And this time, the pack actually does move out to our side of the reed belt. With a perfect shot, the powerful stag collapses in front of us. A truly memorable moment. <laughs> Unexpectedly, a one-year-old stag stands behind us. Yosef immediately approves the young stag for our hunter to shoot. Much importance is attached to proper game management in these hunting grounds, after all. Once again, our hunter manages to score a clean shot. Now, we can hardly wait to have a closer look at our stag. An odd 16 lies ahead of us. The stag is as magnificent as expected. As it turns out, the old warrior has an antler weight of just over 12.2 kilograms.
with the obligatory photos, we review the day's hunting over dinner with friends. The next day, we try our luck again. First, we go stalking before finally taking to the high stand. Today, our hunter is shooting with the Shiring in 8x75R caliber. This exciting hunt has given Amon Amon's good friend and filmmaker, Klaus, a great deal of pleasure. He has also invited him to stalk a rutting stag. Right now, he is stalking in another part of the hunting grounds. We can already hear the stags and hope to pass unnoticed and as quietly as possible over the railway tracks to the high stand by the reeds. Or maybe the stalking stick will be used first. There are enough red deer on the move. Both high stands are occupied and the strong stags can be heard in the immediate vicinity. We just have to get a good look at them. But let's firstly take a quick look at what Amon Amon is up to. Yosef, the professional hunter, has spotted a very strong stag. It will most likely only be visible for a brief moment before it disappears into the thicket again. So Amon Amon decides to shoot. Just moments before the stag moves in again, our hunter is able to fire a perfect shot. Time, Klaus already has the first small stag in his sights. It will be interesting to see what will happen in the last 30 minutes of daylight. As the stag raises its head and looks behind it, the film fox can make out a small herd of deer moving out. When does come out during the rut, the stag is usually not far away. And there he is, the right stag to hit. But after only a few moments, the stag moves back into the protective thicket. 
Let's switch back to Amon Amon. Amon Amon unfortunately doesn't get to see another stag that is old enough. Instead, in almost the last light of day, the stag in front of Klaus comes out again. But unfortunately, it immediately re-enters cover. That will probably be it for today. Or maybe not. Once again, the stag follows the pack. Will it be a good time now? Just a few last adjustments on the camera. With this fine shot at 220 yards, Klaus is also able to bag his stag. With this, our hunt for the red stag is over, and we are already looking forward to Amon Amon's next adventure. <laughs>